Hello and welcome to this English vocabulary in use section in which I portray the most used words starting with E so let's dive right in. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe to this channel and also don't forget to buy the best merch from my store from which I put a link in the description of every section and don't forget that the main objective of this channel is to provide the best information about all things related to English grammar to you. E. Each determiner, pronoun, adverb. The word, each, in English is used as a determiner to refer to every individual member of a group considered separately. Here are four sentences showcasing the use of each in different contexts. 1. Each participant received a certificate at the end of the conference. 2. The teacher gave each student a book to read during the summer vacation. 3. The restaurant offered a discount to each customer who visited during the lunch hour. 4. Each member of the team was responsible for completing their assigned tasks before the deadline. The word, each, in English can also function as a pronoun, indicating every one of two or more people or things considered individually. Here are four sentences illustrating the use of, each, as a pronoun. 1. The participants were asked to introduce themselves, and each shared their experience with the audience. 2. The students were given an assignment, and each submitted their work on time. 3. The committee members voted on the proposal, with each expressing their opinion during the discussion. 4. The flowers in the garden were carefully tended, and each bloomed beautifully in the spring. The word, each, in English can also function as an adverb, indicating a point of reference in a group or list of items. Here are four sentences illustrating the use of, each, as an adverb. 1. The students were given a task and completed it, working each diligently to finish on time. 2. The contestants performed their routines, impressing the judges each with their unique style and skill. 3. The chef carefully selected the ingredients, ensuring to add each in the right proportion for the perfect taste. 4. The team members worked on their respective tasks, coordinating each efficiently to meet the project deadline. Each other pronoun. Each other is a phrase used to refer to two or more people or things reciprocally acting or having a mutual relationship. Here are four sentences demonstrating the use of each other. 1. The siblings loved and supported each other through all of life's challenges. 2. The two countries agreed to cooperate, fostering a relationship based on mutual trust and respect for each other's sovereignty. 3. The teammates encouraged and motivated each other to perform at their best during the intense competition. 4. The friends shared their thoughts and feelings, confiding in each other about their hopes, dreams, and fears. Ear noun. The word, ear, typically refers to the organ of hearing and balance in humans and other vertebrates. Here are four sentences demonstrating the use of, ear. 1. She covered her ears to block out the loud noise from the construction site. 2. His left ear was slightly larger than his right, giving his face a unique asymmetry. 3. The musician had a keen ear for melody, which helped him compose beautiful and harmonious tunes. 4. The dog perked up its ears upon hearing its owner's familiar footsteps, eagerly awaiting a pat on the head. Early adjective, adverb. The word, early, is an adjective refers to something occurring or done before the expected or usual time. Here are four sentences demonstrating the use of, early, as an adjective. 1. The early bird catches the worm, as the saying goes, emphasizing the importance of prompt action. 2. The early train was less crowded, allowing us to find seats easily and travel comfortably. 3. She displayed an early interest in music, often spending hours practicing the piano. 4. Early risers often have more productive mornings, setting the tone for a successful day ahead. The word, early, is an adverb refers to something happening before the usual or expected time. Here are four sentences demonstrating the use of, early, as an adverb. 1. She woke up early to catch the sunrise and start her day with a sense of tranquility. 2. They arrived at the party early, giving them time to chat with the hosts before the other guests arrived. 3. He left work early to avoid the rush hour traffic and get home in time for dinner with his family. 4. The shop opens early on Saturdays to accommodate the weekend shoppers looking for fresh produce. Earn verb. The word, earn, in English refers to acquiring money or receiving a reward for work or services. Here are four sentences demonstrating the use of, earn, as a verb. 1. 
he was able to earn a substantial amount of money through his part-time job during college. 2. She worked hard to earn the respect of her colleagues and was eventually promoted to a managerial position. 3. The company offers various incentives to motivate employees to earn more through commission-based sales. 4. They managed to earn the trust of their investors by consistently delivering on their promises and achieving their financial targets. Earth noun. The word, Earth, in English refers to the planet we live on, especially when contrasted with other celestial bodies. Here are four sentences demonstrating the use of Earth in different contexts. 1. The Earth is the third planet from the Sun and the only known celestial body to support life. 2. Farmers must cultivate and nourish the Earth to ensure a bountiful harvest each year. 3. Environmentalists stress the importance of preserving the Earth's natural resources to sustain future generations. 4. The earthquake caused significant damage to the Earth's surface, resulting in widespread destruction and displacement of communities. Ease verb. The word, ease, in English refers to a state of comfort or relaxation, or the absence of difficulty or effort. Here are four sentences demonstrating the use of ease in different contexts. 1. With the aid of painkillers, the patient experienced some ease from the persistent discomfort in his back. 2. The introduction of automated systems has helped ease the burden on employees by streamlining repetitive tasks. 3. She performed the task with remarkable ease, showcasing her proficiency and skill in the field. 4. The calming music helped create an atmosphere of ease and relaxation, soothing the guests at the spa. Easily adverb. The word, easily, in English is used to describe the manner in which something is done without difficulty. Here are four sentences demonstrating the use of, easily, in different contexts. 1. She quickly and easily solved the complex mathematical problem, showcasing her aptitude for numbers. 2. The children easily completed the puzzle within minutes, demonstrating their proficiency in problem solving. 3. He adapted easily to the new working environment, building rapport with his colleagues in a short span of time. 4. The instructions were presented clearly, making it easy for everyone to understand the process and follow along. East noun. The word, east, in English refers to the cardinal direction opposite to west, where the sun rises. Here are four sentences demonstrating the use of east in different contexts. 1. The early morning glow illuminated the eastern sky, casting a warm, golden hue over the landscape. 2. They journeyed eastward, trekking through the dense forest to reach the magnificent waterfall at sunrise. 3. The room's windows faced east, allowing the morning sunlight to stream in and brighten the space. 4. The town lay to the east of the mountain range, shielded from the harsh winds that swept in from the west. Eastern adjective. The word, eastern, in English refers to something relating to or situated in the east. Here are four sentences demonstrating the use of, eastern, in different contexts. 1. The eastern coast of the country is known for its stunning beaches and scenic views of the ocean. 2. The ancient civilization thrived in the fertile lands of the eastern region, harnessing the power of the river for agriculture. 3. They embarked on an exploration of the eastern territories, studying the unique cultures and traditions of the communities they encountered. 4. The storm brought heavy rainfall and strong winds to the eastern provinces, causing widespread damage to the infrastructure and agriculture. Easy adjective, adverb. The word, easy, in English is used as an adjective to describe tasks or situations that are not difficult to accomplish. Here are four sentences demonstrating the use of, easy, in different contexts. 1. The multiple choice test was relatively easy, and most students finished well before the allotted time. 2. Although the hike was challenging, the well-maintained trail made it easy for hikers to navigate the steep terrain. 3. The user-friendly interface of the app made it easy for even the least tech-savvy individuals to operate it effortlessly. 4. The simplified instructions in the manual made the setup process easy, even for those with minimal technical knowledge. The word, easy, can also function as an adverb, modifying a verb, an adjective, or another adverb. It denotes that something is done without difficulty. Here are some examples. 1. She handled the delicate situation so easy, diffusing the tension with grace and diplomacy. 2. The car glided easy down the hill, the smooth road allowing for a comfortable and effortless drive. 3. 
The piano piece, although technically challenging, was played easy by the talented musician, showcasing her exceptional skills. 4. He answered the tricky question too easy, showing his deep understanding of the subject matter. Eat verb. The word, eat, is a verb that means to put food into the mouth and chew and swallow it. Here are some examples. 1. He likes to eat pasta with a lot of cheese on top for dinner. 2. They decided to eat at the new Chinese restaurant in town for their anniversary. 3. The children were hungry and wanted to eat a big, delicious meal after playing outside. 4. She tries to eat healthy foods like fruits and vegetables to maintain a balanced diet. Economic adjective. The word, economic, is an adjective that relates to the production, distribution, and consumption of goods and services within an economy. Here are some examples. 1. The country's economic growth has led to increased job opportunities and higher wages for its citizens. 2. The economic downturn resulted in the closure of several businesses and a rise in unemployment rates. 3. The government implemented new economic policies to stabilize the currency and encourage foreign investment. 4. Environmental sustainability is a key consideration in modern economic planning and development. Economics noun. Economics refers to the study of how societies allocate resources to produce goods and services, as well as how these goods and services are distributed and consumed. Here are some examples of its use. 1. Understanding the principles of economics is crucial for comprehending how markets and financial systems function. 2. The university offers a variety of courses in economics, ranging from microeconomics to international trade and finance. 3. Economists are analyzing the impact of inflation on consumer purchasing power and its effects on the overall economy. 4. Public policy decisions often hinge on economic analyses, considering factors such as cost-benefit ratios and potential long-term impacts. Economy noun. The term, economy, refers to the system of production, distribution, and consumption of goods and services in a particular geographic area or country. Here are some examples of how the word is used. 1. The country's economy is experiencing a period of rapid growth, driven by a surge in manufacturing and exports. 2. Tourism plays a significant role in the local economy, providing jobs and contributing to the region's overall economic well-being. 3. A robust economy fosters an environment conducive to entrepreneurship and encourages small businesses to thrive and expand. 4. Economic indicators such as GDP, unemployment rates, and inflation levels help analysts assess the health and performance of an economy. Edge noun. The term, edge, can refer to a boundary or border, as well as the sharp side of an object. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. Be careful near the edge of the cliff, the drop is steep and dangerous. 2. The knife's edge was so sharp that it effortlessly sliced through the vegetables. 3. The company's innovative approach gave it an edge over its competitors, allowing it to dominate the market. 4. He managed to win the race by a narrow edge, showcasing his exceptional speed and endurance. Addition noun. The term, addition, typically refers to a specific version or issue of a publication or work. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The latest edition of the magazine featured insightful articles on current global affairs. 2. The fifth edition of the textbook included updated information and additional chapters on recent research findings. 3. The limited edition of the novel, with its unique cover design, quickly became a sought-after collector's item. 4. The digital edition of the newspaper provided subscribers with immediate access to breaking news and in-depth analysis. Editor noun. The word, editor, refers to a person responsible for preparing, revising, and selecting content for publication. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The editor meticulously reviewed the manuscript, ensuring it adhered to the publication style guidelines. 2. As the managing editor of the magazine, she oversaw the entire production process, from content selection to final layout. 3. The editor's insightful feedback and suggested revisions greatly improved the quality of the book before it went to print. 4. The newspaper editor made the difficult decision to prioritize certain news stories over others to maintain a balanced representation of current events. Education noun. The word, education, refers to the process of imparting or acquiring knowledge and skills, typically in a formal setting such as a school or university. 
Here are some examples of its usage. 1. Education is widely regarded as a crucial factor in determining an individual's future opportunities and career prospects. 2. The government aims to improve access to quality education for all, especially in underserved and marginalized communities. 3. The education system in the country underwent significant reforms to modernize teaching methods and curriculum content. 4. The foundation's primary goal is to support educational initiatives that promote literacy and critical thinking skills among children and adults. Educational adjective. The word, educational, is an adjective that describes anything related to the process of education or learning. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The museum's interactive exhibits offer an engaging and educational experience for visitors of all ages. 2. The school's new curriculum emphasizes the use of educational technology to enhance students' understanding of complex scientific concepts. 3. Educational programs focused on financial literacy have become increasingly popular, aiming to improve people's money management skills. 4. The documentary provided an insightful and educational perspective on the historical events that shaped the country's political landscape. Effect noun. The word, effect can be used both as a noun and a verb in the English language. As a noun, it refers to a change that is the result or consequence of an action or other cause. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The sudden increase in prices had a detrimental effect on the local economy, causing many businesses to shut down. 2. The medication's side effects included dizziness and nausea, prompting the patient to discontinue its use. 3. The new government policies had a positive effect on reducing unemployment rates and boosting economic growth. 4. The charity's efforts had a profound effect on the lives of the underprivileged, providing them with access to education and basic amenities. Effective adjective. The word, effective, is an adjective in the English language and it refers to something that is successful in producing a desired or intended result. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The new marketing strategy proved to be very effective in boosting the company's sales and visibility in the market. 2. The medicine was highly effective in treating the symptoms of the illness, providing relief to the patients within a short period of time. 3. The coach implemented a more effective training program, resulting in a significant improvement in the team's performance during the season. 4. The company's decision to use eco-friendly packaging was an effective step in reducing its carbon footprint and promoting sustainability. Effectively adverb. The word, effectively, is an adverb in the English language, and it refers to doing something with competence or producing the desired result. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The new manager effectively streamlined the company's operations, leading to improved efficiency and productivity. 2. The teacher effectively communicated complex concepts, making the lesson engaging and easily understandable for all the students. 3. The therapy sessions helped the patient to effectively manage stress and anxiety, leading to a noticeable improvement in their overall well-being. 4. The campaign was effectively launched across multiple platforms, reaching a wide audience and creating a significant impact on public awareness. Efficiency Noun the word, efficiency, in English refers to the ability to achieve maximum productivity with minimum wasted effort or expense. Here are some examples of how it can be used. 1. The new manufacturing process significantly improved efficiency, resulting in a reduction in production time and costs. 2. The efficient use of resources enabled the organization to complete the project ahead of schedule and under budget. 3. The energy-efficient appliances help the homeowners reduce their electricity bills while minimizing their carbon footprint. 4. The company's emphasis on operational efficiency allowed it to maintain a competitive edge in the market, even during challenging economic conditions. Efficient adjective. The word, efficient, in English refers to the ability to accomplish a task with the least waste of time and effort. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The new software system streamlined the company's operations, making them more efficient and cost-effective. 2. Her efficient time management skills enabled her to balance her work and personal life effectively. 3. The energy-efficient appliances helped the homeowners save money on their utility bills while reducing their environmental impact. 4. The team's efficient communication facilitated quick decision-making, leading to the successful completion of the project ahead of schedule. Effort noun. The word, 
Effort, in English refers to the exertion of physical or mental energy to achieve a purpose. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. With dedicated effort and perseverance, he managed to climb the steep mountain trail. 2. The success of the project was a result of the collective efforts of the entire team working together. 3. She put in a tremendous amount of effort into her studies, leading to her academic success. 4. The company's expansion required considerable effort and strategic planning to enter new markets successfully. Egg noun. The word, egg, in English refers to the oval or round object produced by female birds, reptiles, fish, and in some cases, insects. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The hen laid a small brown egg in the nest early this morning. 2. The chef cracked open a fresh egg to prepare the omelet for breakfast. 3. The scientist observed the development of the butterfly from the egg stage to its eventual transformation. 4. She carefully placed the fragile eggs of the sea turtle in a protected area to ensure their safe incubation. Either conjunction, determiner, pronoun. The word, either, is a conjunction is used to present a choice between two options. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. You can either go to the cinema or stay home and watch a movie. 2. We can either travel by train or take a flight to the conference. 3. She can either join the book club or participate in the writing workshop. 4. Either you finish your homework now, or you can complete it after dinner. The word, either, is a determiner is used to refer to one or the other of two people or things. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. You can take either road to get to the city center. 2. She didn't like either dress, so she left the store empty-handed. 3. You can choose either a cookie or a piece of cake for dessert. 4. He didn't know either person at the party, so he felt a bit out of place. The word, either, is a pronoun is used to refer to one or the other of two people or things. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. You can take either, both are fine with me. 2. Either is acceptable, so choose the one you prefer. 3. I can't decide between the two books. I might buy either. 4. Either of the dresses will work for the event, so choose the one you like best. Elderly adjective. The word, elderly, refers to a person who is advanced in years, often associated with old age. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The elderly couple enjoyed their daily walks in the park. 2. An elderly man helped the child cross the busy street. 3. The nursing home provides care for the elderly with specialized medical needs. 4. The neighborhood has various programs to support the elderly population. Elect verb. The word, elect, refers to choosing or selecting someone for a position or job through voting or decision-making processes. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The citizens will elect their new mayor next month. 2. The committee will elect its chairman during the meeting. 3. The team decided to elect him as the captain due to his leadership qualities. 4. The members will elect a new president for the club at the annual general meeting. Election noun. The word, election, refers to the formal process of choosing someone for a position through voting or decision making. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The country is preparing for the presidential election next year. 2. The student council election will take place on Friday. 3. The election results will be announced later today. 4. The candidate's campaign strategies were crucial to winning the election. Electric adjective. The word, electric, can refer to something powered by electricity or something with a thrilling or tense quality. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The electric car runs on a battery and emits no exhaust fumes. 2. The concert was filled with electric energy, and the audience was captivated. 3. The city suffered a blackout due to an electric fault in the power grid. 4. The new electric appliances in the kitchen have significantly reduced energy consumption. Electrical adjective. The word, electrical, is used to describe things related to electricity. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The electrical engineer was responsible for maintaining the power plant's operations. 2. Make sure to turn off all electrical appliances before leaving the house. 3. The storm caused significant damage to the electrical wiring in many homes. 4. He received training in electrical work and was now able to repair household wiring issues. Electricity noun. The word, electricity, 
refers to the form of energy resulting from the existence of charged particles, either statically as an accumulation of charge or dynamically as a current. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. Without electricity, our modern society would not be able to function as it is today. 2. The invention of electricity paved the way for various technological advancements in the 19th and 20th centuries. 3. Solar panels are an efficient way of harnessing the power of sunlight and converting it into electricity. 4. Power outages can be inconvenient, highlighting the importance of a steady supply of electricity for our daily activities. Electronic adjective. The word, electronic, refers to devices or systems that operate through the control of electric current or the manipulation of electromagnetic fields. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. Electronic devices such as computers and smartphones have become integral parts of our daily lives. 2. The company specializes in the production of electronic components used in various consumer electronics. 3. The electronic security system ensured that the building was well protected against unauthorized access. 4. Many modern cars are equipped with sophisticated electronic systems that assist in navigation and communication. Element noun. The word, element, in English can refer to various things, including basic principles, components, or chemical substances. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The periodic table is a tabular arrangement of chemical elements ordered by their atomic number and electron configuration. 2. The novel lacked a crucial element of suspense, leaving readers unengaged with the plot. 3. The coach emphasized the importance of each team member playing their role as an essential element of the game's strategy. 4. The marketing campaign incorporated elements of humor and emotional appeal to connect with a broader audience. Elevator noun. The word, elevator, in English refers to a device used for lifting people or goods to different levels within a building. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The modern office building is equipped with high-speed elevators, ensuring quick and efficient transportation between floors. 2. The old-fashioned freight elevator creaked and groaned as it hoisted heavy cargo to the upper levels of the warehouse. 3. The elevator operator greeted the guests warmly as they entered the plush interior of the hotel's luxurious lift. 4. Sarah pressed the button for the top floor, and the elevator smoothly ascended, giving her a panoramic view of the city skyline. Else adverb. The word, else, in English is used to refer to someone or something different or additional. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. If you don't want that shirt, we have plenty of others in different colors. Would you like to try something else? 2. John's car was the only one parked on the street. Everyone else had already gone home for the night. 3. Do you have any plans for the weekend, or would you like to join us for a movie or something else? 4. The bookshelves were empty except for a small note, look under the bed for everything else you'll need. Elsewhere adverb. The word, elsewhere, in English is used to refer to another place or location different from the current one. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. Sarah couldn't find the book in the library, so she decided to search for it elsewhere. 2. The restaurant was full, so we had to go elsewhere for dinner. 3. The store didn't have the shoes I wanted, so I'll have to look elsewhere for them. 4. We looked for the lost keys everywhere in the house, and elsewhere, but they were nowhere to be found. Email noun, verb. The word, email, in English serves as a noun referring to an electronic message sent between computer users, typically over a network. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. I received an email from my friend with exciting news about her upcoming trip. 2. He couldn't access his email due to a technical glitch in the system. 3. The email contained detailed instructions on how to reset the password for my account. 4. Please forward the email to the appropriate department for further consideration. The word, email, can also be used as a verb in English, indicating the action of sending electronic messages. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. I will email you the details of the meeting agenda later today. Two. He often emails his clients to keep them updated about the project's progress. 3. Don't forget to email your application to the HR department before the deadline. 4. She emailed the documents to her colleagues for their review and feedback. Embarrassed adjective. 
The word, embarrassed, is an adjective in English, used to describe the feeling of self-consciousness or discomfort due to being in an awkward or compromising situation. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. She felt embarrassed when her presentation slide didn't load properly during the meeting. 2. He was embarrassed by his parents' public display of affection in front of his friends. 3. The teacher's scolding left the student feeling embarrassed in front of the whole class. 4. Jane was embarrassed when she realized her skirt was tucked into her pantyhose. Emerge verb. The word, emerge, is a verb in English, which means to become apparent, visible, or known. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The sun began to rise, and the city's skyline slowly emerged from the darkness. 2. After hours of discussion, a consensus started to emerge among the group members. 3. As the fog lifted, the details of the landscape started to emerge, revealing a breathtaking view. 4. Over time, his natural leadership abilities began to emerge, earning him the respect of his colleagues. Emergency noun. The word, emergency, is a noun in English, referring to a serious, unexpected, and often dangerous situation requiring immediate action. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The hospital staff responded swiftly to the emergency, providing urgent medical care to the injured patients. 2. In case of a fire, please use the emergency exits indicated by the illuminated signs. 3. The government declared a state of emergency in the region affected by the natural disaster, mobilizing aid and resources for the affected communities. 4. She dialed 911 and reported the emergency to the authorities, seeking immediate assistance for the car accident. Emotion noun. The word, emotion, is a noun in English, referring to a strong feeling such as joy, sorrow, or anger. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. Her face revealed the depth of her emotion, as tears welled up in her eyes upon hearing the heartwarming news. 2. He struggled to control his emotions during the emotional farewell, trying to keep a composed demeanor in front of his colleagues. 3. The movie's powerful storyline evoked various emotions among the audience, leaving many viewers moved and introspective. 4. The therapist encouraged her patient to express his emotions freely, emphasizing the importance of acknowledging and processing feelings for overall well-being. Emotional adjective. The word, emotional, is an adjective in English, describing something related to or expressing strong feelings. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. She had an emotional outburst when she received the unexpected news, unable to contain her excitement and joy. 2. The touching melody brought back a flood of emotional memories, evoking a sense of nostalgia and longing in the audience. 3. His emotional turmoil was evident in the way he spoke, his voice cracking as he struggled to articulate his deep-seated pain. 4. The novel's emotional narrative resonated with readers, provoking a range of emotional responses from empathy to deep reflection. Emphasis noun. The word, emphasis, in English refers to special attention or importance given to something. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The teacher placed great emphasis on the importance of critical thinking in her lectures, encouraging students to question assumptions. 2. The speaker's emphasis on the need for environmental conservation resonated deeply with the audience, inspiring them to take action. 3. The article's emphasis on the economic implications of the policy shed light on its potential impact on various industries. 4. His emphasis on precision and accuracy in his work earned him a reputation for being meticulous and thorough. Emphasize verb. The word, emphasize, in English refers to the act of giving special importance or attention to something. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The coach would often emphasize the importance of teamwork and collaboration during their training sessions. 2. The presentation will emphasize the need for sustainable practices in the manufacturing sector to combat climate change. 3. The professor would frequently emphasize the fundamental concepts in the course to ensure students grasp the core principles. 4. The manager would consistently emphasize the significance of customer satisfaction to the employees, stressing its role in the company's success. Empire noun. The word, empire, in English refers to a group of nations or peoples ruled over by an emperor or another powerful sovereign or government. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The Roman Empire was one of the most influential and significant empires in ancient history, spanning across various continents. 
2. During the 19th century, the British Empire expanded its influence to many parts of the world, establishing colonies and trading posts. 3. The Ottoman Empire, known for its rich cultural heritage and vast territorial holdings, left a significant legacy in the Middle East and Europe. 4. The rise and fall of the Mongol Empire in the 13th and 14th centuries had a profound impact on the political landscape of Asia and Eastern Europe. Employ verb. The word, employ, in English means to give work to someone and pay them for it. It can also refer to making use of a particular skill or resource. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The company plans to employ 10 new staff members to meet the increasing demand for their products. 2. She decided to employ her artistic talents by painting a mural on the school wall. 3. The organization employs sophisticated technology to streamline its manufacturing process. 4. The government aims to employ various strategies to combat unemployment and boost the economy. Employee noun. The word, employee, in English refers to a person who is hired to work for another individual or a company in return for wages or salary. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The new employee showed great dedication and enthusiasm in their role at the company. 2. The company organized a training program for all employees to enhance their skills and productivity. 3. Employees are entitled to certain benefits such as health insurance and paid vacation days. 4. The organization strives to create a positive work environment to boost employee morale and job satisfaction. Employer noun. The word, employer, in English refers to an individual or an organization that hires people to work for them. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The employer provided comprehensive training to all new recruits to ensure they were well equipped for their roles. 2. As an employer, the company was known for its supportive work culture and employee-friendly policies. 3. The employer-employee relationship should be built on mutual respect and clear communication. 4. The employer took steps to improve workplace safety and implemented measures to promote employee well-being. Employment noun. The word, employment, in English refers to the state of having a paid job. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The company's efforts to boost employment opportunities in the region were widely praised by the local community. 2. He had been in search of gainful employment for several months before finally landing a job at the local supermarket. 3. The government's focus on creating employment for the youth helped alleviate the rising unemployment rates. 4. The pandemic caused a significant downturn in employment levels across various sectors, leading to widespread job losses. Empty adjective. The word, empty, in English means containing nothing, not filled or occupied. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. She opened the cupboard to find it completely empty, with no sign of the stored groceries. 2. The abandoned house stood desolate and empty, its walls echoing the silence of the empty rooms. 3. He reached the end of his journey to discover his pockets were empty, and he had no money left. 4. The restaurant had to turn away customers as it had run out of food, leaving the shelves and fridges completely empty. Enable verb. The word, enable, in English means to give someone or something the authority, means, or ability to do something. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The new software update will enable users to access advanced features previously unavailable to them. 2. The wheelchair ramp enabled the disabled person to easily access the building without any difficulties. 3. The grant from the government enabled the organization to expand its services and reach more people in need. 4. Regular exercise and a balanced diet enable individuals to maintain a healthy lifestyle and reduce the risk of certain diseases. Encounter verb. The word, encounter, in English means to unexpectedly or casually meet someone or something. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. During his trip, he had the chance to encounter many different cultures and traditions. 2. We didn't expect to encounter any problems, but the sudden storm caused significant delays. 3. She was startled to encounter her old childhood friend while shopping at the mall. 4. The explorers were thrilled to encounter a rare species of bird during their expedition in the rainforest. Encourage verb. The word, encourage, in English means to give support, confidence, or hope to someone. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. 
The coach always sought to encourage his players, even in times of defeat, to keep their spirits up. 2. Her parents encouraged her to pursue her passion for music, which eventually led her to become a successful artist. 3. The teacher would frequently encourage her students to participate actively in class discussions to build their confidence. 4. The community came together to encourage the local youth to participate in volunteer work for the betterment of their neighborhood. Encouraging adjective. The word, encouraging, in English describes something that gives someone support, confidence, or hope. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The positive feedback from her colleagues was very encouraging and motivated her to work even harder. 2. The rising test scores were an encouraging sign that the students were grasping the material well. 3. The company's financial growth in the last quarter was encouraging news for its investors and stakeholders. 4. The warm reception from the audience was encouraging for the young performer, who was nervous before going on stage. End noun, verb. The word, end, is a noun in English refers to the final part of something or the point at which something finishes. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The end of the movie was unexpected and left the audience in awe. 2. The deadline for the project is nearing its end, so we need to work diligently to complete it on time. 3. We reached the end of the road and had to turn back because the bridge was washed away by the storm. 4. She couldn't see the light at the end of the tunnel, but she remained hopeful that things would improve. The word, end, is a verb in English means to come to a conclusion or to bring something to an end. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The teacher decided to end the class early because of the inclement weather. 2. The company chose to end its partnership with the supplier due to a series of disagreements. 3. The mediator's goal was to end the dispute between the two parties amicably and reach a settlement. 4. They decided to end their relationship because they realized they had different long-term goals. Enemy noun. The word, enemy, in English refers to a person who actively opposes or is hostile to someone or something. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. Despite being childhood friends, they became bitter enemies after a dispute over business matters. Two. The army launched a fierce attack against the enemy's stronghold, aiming to reclaim the territory. 3. She felt a sense of betrayal when she found out that her colleague had been secretly working for the enemy. 4. The spy infiltrated the enemy camp to gather crucial information about their military strategies. Energy noun. The word, energy, in English refers to the capacity of a physical system to do work. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. Solar energy is a renewable source of power that is increasingly being used to generate electricity. 2. She lacks the energy to participate in extracurricular activities after a long day at work. 3. The athlete's exceptional energy and endurance helped him win the marathon for the third consecutive year. 4. The company is exploring ways to reduce its energy consumption to minimize its carbon footprint. Engage verb. In English, the word, engage, means to occupy, attract, or involve someone's interest or attention. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The teacher sought to engage her students in a lively discussion about the novel they were reading. 2. The company aims to engage customers by creating interactive and user-friendly applications. 3. The couple decided to engage in a meaningful conversation about their future plans. 4. The new training program will help employees engage more effectively with clients and improve customer satisfaction. Engine noun. The word, engine, in English refers to a machine with moving parts that converts power into motion. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The powerful engine of the car roared as it accelerated down the highway. 2. The engineers worked tirelessly to optimize the efficiency of the aircraft's jet engine. 3. The factory used a large engine to generate electricity for the entire complex. 4. The ship's engine malfunctioned, causing it to stall in the middle of the ocean. Engineer noun. The word, engineer, in English refers to a person who designs, builds, or maintains engines, machines, or public works. Here are some examples of its usage. 1. The civil engineer supervised the construction of the new bridge over the river. 2. The software engineer developed a new application to streamline the company's operations. 3. The mechanical engineer designed the intricate components of the new robotic system. 4. 
The city hired an engineer to oversee the maintenance of the municipal water supply system. Engineering noun. The term, engineering, in English refers to the application of scientific and mathematical principles to design and build structures, machines, systems, and processes. Here are some sentences showcasing its usage. 1. The university offers a comprehensive program in civil engineering, covering structural design and construction. 2. The company invested in research and development to advance its engineering capabilities in renewable energy technologies. 3. The field of chemical engineering focuses on the conversion of raw materials into valuable products. 4. Aerospace engineering involves the design, construction, and testing of aircraft and spacecraft. Enhance verb. The word, enhance, in English means to improve or increase the quality, value, or extent of something. Here are four sentences demonstrating its usage. 1. The company plans to enhance its customer service by introducing a new chat support feature on its website. 2. Regular exercise and a balanced diet can help enhance overall well-being and physical fitness. 3. The artist used vibrant colors to enhance the beauty of the landscape painting, making it more captivating. 4. The software update is expected to enhance the performance of the application, making it faster and more efficient. Enjoy verb. The word, enjoy, in English means to take pleasure in or derive satisfaction from something. Here are four sentences demonstrating its usage. 1. I enjoy spending my weekends hiking in the mountains and enjoying the beauty of nature. 2. She enjoys playing the piano and often performs at local events and gatherings. 3. We always enjoy our family vacations by exploring new places and trying different cuisines. 4. The children enjoy playing in the park running around and having fun with their friends. Enjoyable adjective. The word, enjoyable, in English refers to something that gives pleasure or satisfaction. Here are four sentences demonstrating its usage. 1. The vacation was highly enjoyable, with long days spent lounging on the beach and exploring the local culture. 2. We had an enjoyable evening at the theater, where the play was both engaging and thought-provoking. 3. The enjoyable company of friends made the dinner party a memorable and delightful experience. 4. Despite the challenging hike, the breathtaking views from the mountaintop made the journey thoroughly enjoyable. Enormous adjective. The word, enormous, in English refers to something that is extremely large in size, extent, or degree. Here are four sentences demonstrating its usage. 1. The construction project involved moving enormous amounts of earth and required a large team of workers. 2. Her enormous talent and dedication to the craft made her a standout in the competitive world of professional dance. 3. The museum's enormous collection of ancient artifacts and historical relics drew in visitors from around the world. 4. The company's success led to enormous profits, allowing them to expand their operations globally. Enough adverb, determiner, pronoun. The word, enough, in English can be used as an adverb to indicate sufficiency or adequacy. Here are four sentences demonstrating its usage. 1. He had enough time to complete the project before the deadline. 2. The teacher provided enough resources for the students to conduct their experiments effectively. 3. After hours of walking, she had drunk enough water to quench her thirst. 4. The hotel's buffet offered enough options to satisfy even the most discerning of palates. Enough, can function as a determiner to indicate a sufficient or satisfactory amount of something. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. We have enough chairs for everyone attending the meeting. 2. There wasn't enough evidence to convict the suspect. 3. He didn't have enough money to purchase the new computer. 4. Do we have enough flour to bake a cake for the party? The word, enough, can function as a pronoun to refer to a satisfactory or sufficient amount of something. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. We don't have enough, and that's the problem. 2. Can you make sure there's enough for everyone at the party? 3. I need enough to last me through the week. 4. There wasn't enough to go around, so some people went hungry. Enquiry noun. The word, enquiry, is used as a noun in English and refers to an act of asking for information or an official investigation. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The police conducted an enquiry into the matter to determine the cause of the accident. 2. 
the customer lodged an enquiry with the company's support team regarding the delivery status of the package. 3. The committee initiated an enquiry into the allegations of misconduct against the company's CEO. 4. The journalists' inquiries revealed crucial information about the government's handling of the crisis. Ensure verb. The word, ensure, is used as a verb in English and means to make certain that something will happen. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. Please ensure that all doors and windows are locked before leaving the house. 2. The supervisor will ensure that the project is completed within the given timeline. 3. We must ensure that all safety measures are in place before starting the experiment. 4. The new software update will ensure a smoother and more efficient user experience. Enter verb. The word, enter, is used as a verb in English and means to go or come into. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. Please enter the room quietly so as not to disturb the meeting. 2. Visitors are required to enter their personal details at the reception desk upon arrival. 3. You need a key card to enter the building after hours. 4. The actor will enter the stage from the right side in the opening scene. Enterprise noun. The word, enterprise, is a noun in English and typically refers to a project or undertaking, especially a bold or complex one. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The company's latest enterprise involves expanding into international markets. 2. She showed great initiative by starting her own catering enterprise. 3. The government is offering incentives for small business enterprises in the tech sector. 4. The new enterprise aims to revolutionize the way we approach renewable energy. Entertainment noun. The word, entertainment, is a noun in English and refers to the action of providing or being provided with amusement or enjoyment. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The theme park offers a variety of entertainment options for visitors of all ages. 2. The concert provided a night of live entertainment that thrilled the audience. 3. The city's downtown area is bustling with restaurants and entertainment venues. 4. Streaming services have revolutionized the way we consume entertainment at home. Enthusiasm noun. The word, enthusiasm, is a noun in English that refers to intense and eager enjoyment, interest, or approval. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The team's enthusiasm for the project was infectious and motivated others to join in. 2. Her enthusiasm for music was evident in the way she talked about her favorite bands. 3. The audience responded with great enthusiasm to the performer's energetic and engaging show. 4. His enthusiasm for the new initiative was crucial in gaining support from the entire team. Enthusiastic adjective. The word, enthusiastic, is an adjective in English that describes someone having or showing intense excitement, interest, or approval. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. She was enthusiastic about the upcoming project and eagerly shared her ideas with the team. 2. The children were enthusiastic about the prospect of going to the amusement park. 3. His enthusiastic approach to the challenge inspired others to work harder and achieve more. 4. The enthusiastic response from the crowd indicated the success of the new product launch. Entire adjective. The word, entire, is an adjective in English that refers to something whole or complete, not divided into parts. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The entire city was covered in a blanket of snow overnight. 2. I read the entire book in one sitting because it was so captivating. 3. He spent his entire savings on that luxurious car. 4. The entire class was excited about the upcoming field trip to the museum. Entirely adverb. The word, entirely, is an adverb in English that refers to something being completely or fully the case. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The decision to move was entirely his. 2. She was entirely unaware of the plan. 3. The statement is entirely false and misleading. 4. The success of the project was entirely dependent on their teamwork. Entitle verb. The word, entitle, in English refers to giving someone the right to do or have something. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. Winning the championship would entitle them to a cash prize. 2. Your ticket will entitle you to a free meal at the event. 3. The purchase of this product entitles you to a lifetime warranty. 4. His position does not entitle him to special treatment. Entrance noun. 
The word entrance in English refers to the act of going into a place or the point at which one enters. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. We stood at the entrance of the building, waiting for the ceremony to start. 2. The grand entrance to the palace was adorned with intricate carvings. 3. Use the side entrance if the main door is locked. 4. The bouncer checked everyone's ID at the club entrance. Entry noun. The word, entry, in English refers to the act of going into or the right to enter a place. It can also mean an item written or recorded in a list, an account, or a book. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The security guard controlled the entry to the event to ensure only ticket holders were allowed in. 2. Make sure to complete your entry in the guestbook before you leave the museum. 3. Her entry in the competition was remarkable, earning her a well-deserved first place. 4. The dictionary has an extensive entry on that particular word, providing its definition and usage in different contexts. Envelope noun. The word, envelope, in English refers to a flat, usually rectangular paper container for a letter. It can also mean a covering or enclosing structure or layer. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The letter was sealed in a plain white envelope addressed to the recipient. 2. The building had a glass envelope that protected the interior from harsh weather conditions. 3. She placed the invitation inside the envelope and sealed it with a sticker. 4. The company mailed out the promotional brochures in custom-designed envelopes to attract attention. Environment noun. The word, environment, in English refers to the surroundings or conditions in which a person, animal, or plant operates or lives. It can also refer to the natural world as a whole or a particular geographic area. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The organization is committed to protecting the environment and reducing carbon emissions. 2. The tropical rainforest provides a rich environment for a diverse array of plant and animal species. 3. She prefers a quiet work environment to concentrate on her tasks effectively. 4. The polluted environment in the city has led to health problems for many residents. Environmental adjective. The word, environmental, in English refers to relating to the natural world and the impact of human activity on its condition. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The company is adopting several environmental measures to reduce its carbon footprint. 2. Environmental concerns have prompted policymakers to implement stricter regulations for waste disposal. 3. The environmental impact of the oil spill on marine life was devastating. 4. The environmental group is working to promote awareness about the importance of preserving biodiversity. Equal adjective, verb. The word, equal, is an adjective in English refers to being the same in quantity, size, degree, value, or status. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The twins were born on the same day and were of equal height, making it difficult to tell them apart. 2. The company has a policy of paying all employees an equal wage for the same job. 3. The team members contributed an equal amount of effort to complete the project on time. 4. The court's decision emphasized the importance of treating all citizens as equal before the law, regardless of their background. The word, equal is a verb in English means to be the same in value, status, or function. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. She strives to equal her sister's accomplishments in the field of medicine. 2. The company aims to equal its previous year's record-breaking sales figures. 3. He works hard to equal the achievements of his predecessors in the music industry. 4. The new system was designed to equal the efficiency of the old one, if not surpass it. Equally adverb. The word, equally, in English functions is an adverb and is used to indicate something is done in an equal or identical manner. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. Both teams played equally well, resulting in a tie game. 2. The twins were equally excited about the upcoming family reunion. 3. The candidates were equally qualified for the position, making the decision difficult. 4. The company treated all its employees equally, regardless of their job titles. Equipment noun. The word, equipment, in English refers to the necessary items or tools needed for a particular purpose. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The team brought their camping equipment for the weekend trip. 2. 
The lab is equipped with the latest scientific equipment for conducting experiments. 3. It's essential to wear appropriate safety equipment while working in the construction zone. 4. The athletes spent hours practicing with their sports equipment to improve their performance. Equivalent adjective. The word, equivalent, in English refers to something that is equal in value, significance, or meaning to something else. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. In this context, the term, apples, is equivalent to, fruit, in general. 2. 1 kilogram is equivalent to 2.2 pounds. 3. The company offered a bonus that was equivalent to one month's salary for the employees. 4. The new model of the phone is equivalent in performance to its predecessor but has additional features. Era noun. The word, era, in English refers to a period of time marked by particular events, characteristics, or developments. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The Renaissance era is known for its significant advancements in art, science, and culture. 2. The Victorian era is famous for its elaborate architecture and strict societal norms. 3. The digital era has transformed the way people communicate and access information. 4. The era of industrialization brought about massive changes in manufacturing and urban development. Error noun. The word, error, in English refers to a mistake or inaccuracy, often resulting in incorrect or faulty actions or judgments. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The error in the calculation led to inaccurate financial projections for the company. 2. The spelling error in the document was quickly corrected before it was submitted. 3. The software update was necessary to fix the error that was causing the program to crash. 4. The error in the system caused delays in the production process, resulting in a loss for the company. Escape noun, verb. The word, escape, is a noun refers to an act of breaking free or avoiding something unpleasant. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The prisoner made a daring escape from the maximum security facility. 2. The great escape from the burning building was made possible by the firefighters. 3. A well-timed escape plan saved them from the clutches of the enemy soldiers. 4. The elaborate escape route had been carefully planned to avoid detection by the guards. The word, escape, is a verb refers to the act of getting away from a place or avoiding a threatening situation. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The prisoners managed to escape from the heavily guarded facility last night. 2. The quick-thinking hiker was able to escape the dangerous bear by climbing up a tree. 3. We narrowly escaped the traffic jam by taking an alternative route. 4. The superhero used his special powers to escape the clutches of the villain and save the city. Especially adverb. The word, especially, is used to single out something as being more important or significant. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. I enjoy all types of music, especially jazz and classical. 2. She loves animals, especially cats and dogs. 3. He's a talented artist, especially when it comes to painting landscapes. 4. The restaurant is known for its great food, especially the seafood dishes. Essay noun. The word, essay, refers to a short piece of writing on a particular subject. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. She wrote an insightful essay on the impact of climate change. 2. The students were asked to submit an essay on the history of their hometown. 3. His latest essay provides a critical analysis of contemporary literature. 4. The professor praised the student's essay for its clear argument and structure. Essential adjective. The word, essential, refers to something that is absolutely necessary or extremely important. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. Fresh water is essential for all forms of life to survive. 2. The completion of this task is essential for the success of the project. 3. Exercise and a balanced diet are essential for maintaining good health. 4. The use of protective gear is essential to ensure the safety of the workers. Essentially adverb. The word, essentially, means fundamentally, at the core, or in essence. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The new software is essentially an upgraded version of the previous one. 2. While they have their differences, both operating systems are essentially designed for the same purpose. 3. 
Despite the various modifications, the design remains essentially the same as the original concept. 4. Although the language has evolved over time, the essence of the poem remains essentially intact. Establish verb. The word, establish, means to set up or create something, typically an organization, system, or set of rules. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The company is planning to establish a new branch in the city center. 2. It took years of hard work to establish herself as a reputable author in the literary world. 3. The government aims to establish a more efficient healthcare system for its citizens. 4. The team hopes to establish new protocols to enhance the safety measures in the workplace. Establishment noun. The word, establishment, refers to an organization or business that has been created or set up. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The new establishment is quickly becoming popular among the locals for its unique menu. 2. The government announced plans to support the establishment of more small businesses in the area. 3. The historical establishment has been a cornerstone of the town's cultural heritage for decades. 4. The hotel is an established establishment in the hospitality industry known for its excellent service. Estate noun. The word, estate, can refer to a large piece of property, including a house and the surrounding land. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The sprawling estate boasts a beautiful mansion, lush gardens, and a serene lake. 2. He inherited a vast estate from his grandfather, which included several properties across the country. 3. The real estate company specializes in buying and selling luxury estates in the countryside. 4. The family gathered at the estate to celebrate the anniversary of their ancestors' acquisition of the property. Estimate noun, verb. The word, estimate, is a noun refers to an approximate calculation or judgment of the value, number, quantity, or extent of something. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The contractor provided an estimate for the cost of renovating the kitchen. 2. According to the latest estimates, the company's profits have increased by 20% this year. 3. Her rough estimate of the number of attendees was around 200 people. 4. The government released its initial estimates for the economic growth of the upcoming fiscal year. The word, estimate, is a verb means to roughly calculate or judge the value, number, quantity, or extent of something. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The team will need to estimate the project's budget before proceeding with the proposal. 2. Can you estimate the distance between the two cities based on the map? 3. The survey results helped us estimate the overall satisfaction level of our customers. 4. It's hard to estimate the amount of time it will take to complete this task without more information. Ethnic adjective. The word, ethnic, refers to relating to a population subgroup within a larger or dominant national or cultural group with a common national or cultural tradition. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The neighborhood has a diverse ethnic composition, with residents hailing from various cultural backgrounds. 2. She enjoys cooking dishes from different ethnic cuisines, including Indian, Italian, and Chinese. 3. The museum's exhibit showcased the art and artifacts of several ethnic communities from around the world. 4. The school promotes an inclusive environment that celebrates the diverse ethnicities of its student body. Even adverb. The word, even, is used to emphasize something unexpected or surprising, or to indicate a balanced or equal situation. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. Even though she was tired, she decided to go for a run. Two. He didn't believe it at first, but even the evidence couldn't persuade him. 3. They distributed the tasks evenly among the team members to ensure fairness. 4. Even the best laid plans can go awry if not executed properly. Evening noun. The word, evening, refers to the period of time between the afternoon and night. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The evening sky was painted with hues of pink and orange as the sun set. 2. We often take leisurely walks in the park during the cool evenings. 3. The evening breeze provided some relief from the scorching heat of the day. 4. The evening was spent in good company, sharing stories and laughter around the campfire. Event noun. The word, event, refers to a particular incident, occasion, or happening. 
Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The charity event raised a significant amount of money for the local community. 2. The wedding was an unforgettable event, filled with joy and celebration. 3. The annual sports event drew participants from across the country to compete. 4. A sudden power outage disrupted the entire event, causing confusion among the attendees. Eventually adverb. The word, eventually, indicates something that will happen at some time in the future or after some delay. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. Despite initial setbacks, she eventually completed her research project successfully. 2. After much deliberation, the team eventually decided to go with the second option. 3. He struggled with the challenging course but eventually managed to pass with flying colors. 4. The negotiations were lengthy, but eventually, the two sides reached a mutually beneficial agreement. Ever adverb. The word, ever, is typically used to refer to any time in the past, present, or future. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. Have you ever visited Paris? It's a beautiful city. 2. She's the most talented artist I've ever seen. 3. I've never seen a more glorious sunset than the one we witnessed that evening. 4. Has he ever been to that restaurant? It serves the best Italian food in town. Every determiner. The word, every, is used to refer to all members of a group individually or in succession. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. Every student in the class is required to submit a project by the end of the semester. 2. I go for a walk every morning to keep myself fit and active. 3. We need to check every item on the list before we can proceed with the inventory. 4. The store offers a discount on every purchase made during the holiday season. Everybody pronoun. The word, everybody, is used as a pronoun to refer to every person. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. Everybody in the room was surprised by the sudden announcement. 2. The performance was so captivating that everybody gave a standing ovation. 3. It's important to ensure everybody has access to proper health care. 4. Everybody should have the opportunity to pursue their dreams and aspirations. Everyone pronoun. The word, everyone, is used as a pronoun to refer to every person. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. Everyone is expected to arrive on time for the meeting. 2. The teacher commended everyone for their hard work and dedication. 3. It's important to treat everyone with kindness and respect. 4. The event was well attended, and everyone seemed to enjoy themselves. Everything pronoun. The word, everything, is used as a pronoun to refer to all things. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. She packed everything she needed for the trip. 2. The store has everything from groceries to household items. 3. He's the type of person who wants to know everything about a topic before forming an opinion. 4. Everything seemed to be going well until the unexpected news arrived. Everywhere adverb. The word, everywhere, is used as an adverb to refer to all places. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. People were dancing everywhere at the music festival. 2. We searched everywhere for the missing keys but couldn't find them. 3. The aroma of freshly baked bread filled the room, making it seem like there was a bakery everywhere. 4. The new restaurant's advertisements were everywhere, from billboards to social media. Evidence noun. The word, evidence, refers to the available body of facts or information indicating whether a belief or proposition is true or valid. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The detective presented compelling evidence that led to the suspect's conviction. 2. Scientists are studying the evidence to support the theory of climate change. 3. The fingerprints found at the crime scene were crucial pieces of evidence in solving the case. 4. The lawyer argued that the lack of evidence should result in the dismissal of the case. Evil adjective. The word, evil, refers to something morally wrong, harmful, or malevolent. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The villain in the story was known for his evil deeds and malicious intentions. 2. It is important to stand up against evil and fight for what is right. 3. Some people believe that the presence of evil in the world is evidence of a larger cosmic struggle. 4. Despite their outward appearance, the witch in the story was not inherently evil but rather misunderstood. Exact adjective. The word, exact, 
refers to being precise, accurate, or in strict accordance with fact. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. Please provide the exact measurements of the room before we order the furniture. 2. He wanted an exact replica of the painting, down to the smallest detail. 3. The team was given the exact coordinates of the meeting point to avoid any confusion. 4. It's crucial to have the exact time of the event to ensure everyone arrives on schedule. Exactly adverb, exactly, is used to emphasize the precision or accuracy of something, indicating that there is no deviation or error. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The instructions were followed exactly as stated, leaving no room for misunderstanding. 2. It was exactly what I had been hoping for, down to the smallest detail. 3. The measurements must match exactly to ensure the components fit together perfectly. 4. She arrived exactly on time for the meeting, demonstrating her punctuality and reliability. Exam noun and exam refers to a formal written, spoken, or practical test, typically given to assess someone's knowledge or proficiency in a subject. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The final exam for the biology class will cover the entire semester's material. 2. She spent weeks preparing for the bar exam to become a licensed attorney. 3. Students felt nervous before the math exam, hoping they had studied enough to succeed. 4. The standardized exams were administered to assess students' progress across various schools. Examination noun. Examination refers to the act of inspecting or scrutinizing someone or something closely, or a formal test of a person's knowledge or proficiency in a subject. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The thorough examination of the crime scene helped the detectives uncover crucial evidence. 2. Students were required to pass an examination in order to graduate from the program. 3. The medical examination revealed no major health concerns, much to the patient's relief. 4. The final examination for the history course covered a wide range of topics from the entire semester. Examine verb. Examine means to inspect or scrutinize something carefully, or to test someone's knowledge or proficiency. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The detective had to examine the evidence thoroughly to piece together the sequence of events. 2. The doctor will examine your throat to determine the cause of your soreness. 3. Teachers often examine their students to assess their understanding of the subject matter. 4. Researchers examine the data to identify any significant trends or patterns that may have emerged. Example noun. Example refers to a particular instance that is representative of a general pattern or idea. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. She provided an excellent example of how to address customer complaints with patience and understanding. 2. The professor used a real-world example to illustrate the complex economic theory to the students. 3. The book contains several practical examples of how to implement the concepts discussed in the earlier chapters. 4. Using historical examples, the speaker emphasized the importance of learning from the mistakes of the past. Excellent adjective. Excellent is used to describe something of extremely high quality or standard. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The restaurant received excellent reviews for its exceptional service and delectable cuisine. 2. His performance in the competition was excellent, earning him the highest score among all the participants. 3. The students produced excellent results in the science fair, showcasing their innovative projects and thorough research. 4. The company's commitment to providing excellent customer support has contributed significantly to its success and reputation. Except conunction, preposition. The word, except, is used as a conjunction to introduce the exclusion of someone or something. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. Everyone attended the meeting, except for John, who was feeling unwell. 2. I like all types of fruit except for bananas, as I find their texture unappealing. 3. We were all set to leave, except that the car wouldn't start, leaving us stranded at home. 4. All the students passed the exam except for Sarah, who unfortunately fell just a few points short of the passing score. The word, except, can also function as a preposition, meaning not including. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. Everyone except Sarah is going on the field trip tomorrow. 2. 
The club is open every day except Sunday. 3. All the students finished their assignments except for John, who requested an extension. 4. I like all fruits except oranges, as I find them too acidic. Exception noun. The word, exception, in English refers to something that does not follow a general rule or pattern. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. He has never missed a day of work, with the exception of when he was hospitalized. 2. The store is open every day, with the exception of major holidays. 3. Everyone was required to wear formal attire to the event, with the exception of the guest speaker, who was allowed to dress casually. 4. The coach praised the entire team for their efforts, making a special exception to recognize the outstanding performance of one player. Exchange noun. The word, exchange, in English can refer to an act of giving one thing and receiving another in return, or it can denote a place where such transactions occur. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. I will exchange this dress for a larger size at the clothing store. 2. The currency exchange at the airport offered competitive rates for travelers. 3. The exchange of ideas between the two scholars led to a breakthrough in their research. 4. The students participated in a cultural exchange program, spending a semester abroad in a foreign country. Excitement noun. The word, excitement, in English refers to the state of being emotionally aroused or stirred up. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The children's excitement was palpable as they opened their presents on Christmas morning. 2. The announcement of the upcoming concert filled her with excitement, as she was a big fan of the band. 3. The team's victory sparked an atmosphere of excitement among the fans at the stadium. 4. The excitement of the new job opportunity made her feel enthusiastic and eager to begin working. Exciting adjective. The word, exciting, in English refers to something causing great enthusiasm and eagerness. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The exciting news of their engagement spread quickly throughout the town. 2. She found the prospect of going on an exciting adventure exhilarating and invigorating. 3. The thrilling and exciting roller coaster ride left them breathless and exhilarated. 4. The exciting plot twists in the book kept the readers engaged and eager to discover the ending. Exclude verb. The word, exclude, in English means to deny access to or prevent from entering or being included. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The bouncer decided to exclude the rowdy patrons from entering the club due to their disruptive behavior. 2. The team decided to exclude the controversial topic from their discussion in order to maintain a peaceful atmosphere. 3. The exclusive club had strict criteria for membership, which often led to the exclusion of many hopeful candidates. 4. The decision to exclude her from the project was met with disappointment, as her expertise was highly valued. Excuse noun, verb. The word, excuse, is a noun in English refers to a reason or explanation given to justify a fault or offense, or as a way to seek exemption from a responsibility. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. His absence from work was due to a medical excuse provided by his doctor. 2. She was skeptical of his excuse for being late to the party. 3. I apologize for the confusion. There seems to have been a misunderstanding on my part, and I have no excuse for the error. 4. The students provided various excuses to avoid being reprimanded for not completing their assignments. The word, excuse, is a verb in English means to forgive someone for a fault or offense, or to release them from an obligation. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. She excused his behavior due to the stressful circumstances he was facing. 2. Please excuse me for the interruption, I have an urgent phone call to attend to. 3. They were excused from the meeting because of their prior commitments. 4. The teacher excused the student's absence after reviewing the medical documentation provided by the student's parents. Executive adjective, noun. The word, executive, is a noun in English refers to a person having administrative or managerial authority in an organization or business. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The executive board made the final decision on the company's new expansion plans. 2. As an executive assistant, her role involves managing the CEO's schedule and coordinating important meetings. 3. The company's executive team is responsible for developing and implementing the long-term strategy. 4. 
His years of experience in the industry led to his promotion to the position of chief executive officer. The word, executive, can also function as an adjective in English, indicating something relating to or having the power to put plans or actions into effect. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. The executive decision-making process involves careful consideration of various factors. 2. The executive branch of the government is responsible for implementing and enforcing laws. 3. The hotel offers executive suites with additional amenities for business travelers. 4. The executive summary of the report provided a concise overview of the key findings and recommendations. Exercise noun, verb. The word, exercise, as a noun refers to a physical or mental activity done to stay fit, healthy, or practice a specific skill. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. Regular exercise can significantly improve your overall well-being. 2. The doctor recommended light exercises such as walking and stretching for post-surgery recovery. 3. The gym instructor demonstrated a series of exercises targeting different muscle groups. 4. Mental exercises, such as puzzles and quizzes, are essential for keeping the mind sharp and agile. As a verb, exercise, refers to the act of engaging in physical activity or practicing a particular skill. Here are four sentences illustrating its usage. 1. It's crucial to exercise regularly to maintain good health and stamina. 2. She exercises daily to keep her muscles toned and flexible. 3. The team decided to exercise caution and conduct thorough research before making a decision. 4. The dance instructor encouraged the students to exercise their creativity and expressiveness through movement. Exhibition noun. The noun, exhibition, in English refers to a public display of works of art or items of interest. Here are four sentences demonstrating its usage. 1. The museum is hosting an exhibition featuring the works of renowned contemporary artists. 2. The exhibition showcased a stunning collection of historical artifacts from ancient civilizations. 3. Local artists were thrilled to participate in the annual art exhibition held in the town hall. 4. The science exhibition at the school drew a large crowd of enthusiastic students and parents. Exist verb. The verb, exist, in English refers to the state of having objective reality or being present in a particular place or situation. Here are four sentences demonstrating its usage. 1. Many scientists believe that life might exist on other planets in the universe. 2. The ancient ruins serve as a reminder that a thriving civilization used to exist in this area. 3. In some regions, extreme poverty and hunger still exist despite global efforts to eradicate them. 4. The company's aim is to create products that don't exist anywhere else in the market, offering unique solutions to customers. Existence noun. The noun, existence, in English refers to the state of being or living. Here are four sentences demonstrating its usage. 1. The existence of life beyond our planet remains a subject of great curiosity and speculation among scientists. 2. Some philosophers have pondered the purpose of human existence for centuries, questioning the meaning of life itself. 3. The company's long existence in the industry serves as a testament to its resilience and adaptability. 4. The existence of poverty in affluent societies underscores the need for systemic changes to address economic disparities. Existing adjective. The word, existing, in English is an adjective that refers to something that is currently present or in use. Here are four sentences demonstrating its usage. 1. The committee is reviewing the existing policies to identify areas that require updates and improvements. 2. We need to build on the existing infrastructure to support the growing population in this area. 3. The current system is unable to handle the volume of existing data, necessitating an overhaul of our data management strategy. 4. Our team is conducting a survey to assess the satisfaction levels among existing customers and identify areas for enhancement. Exit noun. The word, exit, in English can be used as a noun or a verb. As a noun, it refers to a way out typically from a building or enclosed space. Here are four sentences demonstrating its usage. 1. The emergency exit is located at the rear of the building, marked by a clearly visible sign. 2. Please use the designated exits in an orderly fashion during the evacuation drill. 3. The security team blocked off the main exit to prevent unauthorized access to the facility. 4. 
A fire alarm sounded, and everyone swiftly made their way toward the nearest exit. Expand verb. The word, expand, in English means to become larger in size or scope, to spread out, or to increase. Here are four sentences using the word, expand. 1. The company plans to expand its operations to new markets in Europe next year. 2. As the city grew, the need for infrastructure and public services expanded rapidly. 3. They decided to expand their product line to include more options for their customers. 4. The university aims to expand its research facilities to accommodate the growing demand for scientific studies. Expansion noun. The word, expansion, in English refers to the action of becoming larger or more extensive. Here are four sentences using the word, expansion. 1. The city's rapid economic growth necessitated the expansion of its public transportation system. 2. The company's recent success has prompted plans for the expansion of its manufacturing facilities. 3. The new mall's expansion included the addition of several upscale restaurants and entertainment options. 4. The expansion of the software company's services has attracted a broader customer base. Expect verb. The word, expect, in English means to regard something as likely to happen. Here are four sentences using the word, expect. 1. I expect the report to be ready by tomorrow afternoon. 2. The team captain expects everyone to be at practice on time. 3. We expect a large turnout at the event, so prepare for a busy evening. 4. Customers expect prompt and reliable service when dining at this restaurant. Expectation noun. The word, expectation, in English means a strong belief that something will happen or be the case in the future. Here are four sentences using the word, expectation. 1. With high expectations for the new product, the company invested heavily in its marketing campaign. 2. Her performance surpassed all expectations, earning her a standing ovation from the audience. 3. Meeting the client's expectations was a top priority for the team, leading to a successful project delivery. 4. The team failed to live up to the manager's expectations, resulting in a disappointing outcome for the project. Expenditure noun. The word, expenditure, in English refers to the action of spending funds or the total amount of money spent. Here are four sentences using the word, expenditure. 1. The company's expenditure on research and development increased significantly this quarter. 2. Government expenditure on social welfare programs has risen in response to the ongoing economic challenges. 3. The business had to cut down on its expenditure to weather the financial downturn caused by the pandemic. 4. Our household expenditure has been carefully managed to ensure we stay within our budget each month. Expense noun. The word, expense, in English refers to the cost incurred in the process of carrying out an activity or acquiring goods and services. Here are four sentences using the word, expense. 1. The expenses for the business trip were meticulously recorded and later reimbursed by the company. 2. Medical expenses can sometimes lead to financial strain, especially without adequate insurance coverage. 3. We need to carefully plan our monthly expenses to ensure that we stay within our budget. 4. The unexpected car repair expenses put a strain on my savings, causing me to reevaluate my spending habits. Expensive adjective. The word, expensive, in English refers to something that costs a lot of money or is high in price. Here are four sentences using the word, expensive. 1. The designer dress was too expensive for my budget, so I opted for a more affordable option. 2. Eating out every day can become expensive, so I started cooking at home to save money. 3. The renovation project turned out to be more expensive than anticipated, exceeding our initial budget. 4. High-quality furniture tends to be more expensive, but it often lasts longer and is worth the investment. Experience noun, verb. The word, experience, in English can refer to the knowledge or skill gained from observing, encountering, or participating in events. Here are four sentences using the word, experience. 1. Traveling to different countries provides a unique cultural experience and broadens one's perspective. 2. Having prior work experience in a similar field can significantly increase your chances of securing the job. 3. The immersive virtual reality experience made me feel like I was actually inside the game. 4. Learning from the mistakes made in the past can help you gain valuable experience and improve your decision making. 
To experience in English means to encounter or undergo an event or occurrence. Here are four sentences demonstrating the use of experience as a verb. 1. She wanted to experience the thrill of bungee jumping before she turned 30. 2. The children were excited to experience snowfall for the first time during their winter vacation. 3. We decided to go camping to experience nature in its purest form. 4. He had never experienced such strong emotions before his team won the championship. Experienced adjective. Experienced, in English, refers to having knowledge or skill derived from practice or familiarity. Here are four sentences illustrating the use of experienced as an adjective. 1. The company is seeking an experienced candidate for the managerial position. 2. With his experienced guidance, the team managed to complete the project well ahead of schedule. 3. She sought the advice of an experienced lawyer before finalizing the contract. 4. The team performed well in the competition due to their experienced coach's strategic planning. Experiment noun. The word, experiment, in English refers to a scientific procedure undertaken to make a discovery, test a hypothesis, or demonstrate a known fact. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The scientists conducted an experiment to determine the effects of the new drug on the patients. 2. Students were instructed to design their own experiments to understand the principles of physics. 3. The laboratory technician carefully documented the results of each experiment in the report. 4. The experiment revealed that the plant growth rate was directly related to the amount of sunlight it received. Experimental adjective. The word, experimental, in English refers to something based on, derived from, or calculated by an experiment. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The team conducted experimental research to validate the effectiveness of the new treatment. 2. The experimental data indicated a significant improvement in the efficiency of the engine. 3. The company invested in experimental technology to explore the possibilities of future innovations. 4. Her experimental approach to cooking led to some unusual but delicious dishes. Expert adjective, noun. The word, expert, is an adjective in English refers to someone having comprehensive and authoritative knowledge or skill in a particular area. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The report was written with expert analysis, providing in depth insights into the market trends. 2. Her expert advice helped the team navigate through the complex legal issues. 3. The project's success was largely due to the expert handling of the technical challenges. 4. The expert craftsmanship of the furniture ensured its durability and elegant design. The word, expert, is a noun in English refers to a person who has comprehensive and authoritative knowledge or skill in a particular area. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The forensic expert carefully examined the crime scene for any clues or evidence. 2. She consulted a gardening expert to identify the cause of the plant's sudden wilting. 3. The expert's testimony in court was crucial in determining the defendant's innocence. 4. The company hired a marketing expert to revamp their advertising strategy and boost sales. Explain verb. The word, explain, in English means to make an idea, situation, or process clear to someone by describing it in more detail or revealing relevant information. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The teacher took the time to explain the complex mathematical concept to the struggling students. 2. He asked his colleague to explain the new project guidelines so he could better understand the requirements. 3. The manual is designed to explain the setup process of the device in a step by step manner for users. 4. The expert was able to explain the intricate workings of the machine in a way that was easy for the audience to grasp. Explanation noun. The word, explanation, in English refers to a statement or account that makes something clear. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. Her detailed explanation of the scientific phenomenon helped the students understand it better. 2. The politician provided an elaborate explanation of the new policy during the press conference. 3. The company issued an explanation for the sudden increase in product prices, citing inflation and supply chain issues. 4. The book included an insightful explanation of the historical events leading up to the war, providing context for readers. Explore verb. 
The word, explore, in English refers to the act of traveling through an unfamiliar area in order to learn about it. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The group decided to explore the forest to discover its hidden treasures and natural beauty. 2. She loves to explore new cultures and traditions during her travels around the world. 3. The scientist is determined to explore the depths of the ocean to understand its biodiversity and ecosystem. 4. The children eagerly set out to explore the mysterious cave in the nearby hills, hoping to find an adventure. Explosion noun. The word, explosion, in English refers to a rapid and sudden increase in volume and release of energy, often accompanied by a loud noise. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The explosion at the factory caused significant damage to the surrounding buildings and injured several workers. 2. The sudden explosion of laughter filled the room as the comedian delivered a series of hilarious jokes. 3. The controlled explosion of the old building was carefully executed to make way for the new construction project. 4. The explosion of colors in the evening sky during the fireworks display was a sight to behold for the spectators. Export noun. The word, export, in English refers to the sending of goods or services to another country for sale. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The country's main exports include agricultural products such as wheat, corn, and soybeans. 2. The company is looking to expand its market share by increasing its export of electronics to South American countries. 3. The government implemented new policies to incentivize the export of manufactured goods to stimulate economic growth. 4. The drop in the value of the national currency has led to an increase in export activity, boosting the economy. Expose verb. The word, expose, in English means to make something visible or accessible, especially when it was previously concealed. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The investigative journalist sought to expose corruption within the government through a series of well-researched articles. 2. The documentary aimed to expose the detrimental effects of pollution on marine life, raising awareness about the issue. 3. The security breach exposed the personal data of millions of users, prompting concerns about data privacy. 4. The whistleblower's testimony helped expose the unethical practices of the company, leading to legal action against it. Express verb. The word, express, in English can mean to convey or communicate something, often with emphasis or clarity. It can also refer to something fast or direct. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. She used poetry to express her innermost thoughts and emotions. 2. The train service provides an express route from the city center to the airport, cutting the travel time significantly. 3. The dress code explicitly expressed the formal nature of the event, requiring all attendees to wear black tie. 4. He found it difficult to express his gratitude adequately, resorting to a simple, thank you, for the generous gift. Expression noun. The word, expression, in English refers to the act of conveying thoughts, feelings, or ideas, often through language or art. It can also denote the manifestation of an emotion or a quality. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The painting was an extraordinary expression of the artist's inner turmoil and pain. 2. She had a tendency to use colorful expressions to emphasize her points during conversations. 3. His calm and composed expression didn't reveal the anxiety he felt deep inside. 4. The dance performance was a beautiful expression of joy and celebration, captivating the entire audience. Extend verb. The word, extend, in English refers to the act of making something longer or larger, both physically and metaphorically. It can also denote the act of reaching out or stretching something out. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. We need to extend the deadline for the project to ensure that everyone has enough time to complete their tasks. 2. The company decided to extend its services to other parts of the country to reach a larger customer base. 3. He extended his hand to help the elderly lady cross the street safely. 4. The teacher decided to extend the class duration to cover the remaining important topics thoroughly. Extension noun. The word, extension, in English refers to the action of making something longer or larger or the added part that makes something longer or bigger. It can also denote a time period during which an agreement or an activity continues. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. 
The office building's new extension added extra space for more employees to work comfortably. 2. The university granted an extension for the submission of the research paper, giving students an additional week to finalize their work. 3. The phone company provided a three-month extension on the payment deadline for customers affected by the recent natural disaster. 4. The construction of the house included an extension in the form of a spacious conservatory, perfect for relaxing and enjoying the natural light. Extensive adjective. The word, extensive, in English refers to something covering or affecting a large area. It also denotes something that is thorough or far-reaching in terms of detail. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The library has an extensive collection of rare books dating back to the 16th century. 2. The scientist conducted extensive research on the effects of climate change in the Arctic region. 3. The CEO's extensive experience in the industry made her the perfect candidate to lead the company through the challenging market conditions. 4. The museum's extensive exhibit on ancient civilizations attracted visitors from around the world, showcasing artifacts from various historical periods. Extent noun. The word, extent, in English refers to the degree, scope, or range of something. It denotes the size or magnitude of a particular phenomenon or condition. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The extent of the damage caused by the hurricane was evident as entire neighborhoods were left in ruins. 2. She was surprised by the extent of his knowledge on the subject, demonstrating a profound understanding of complex theories. 3. The company was unaware of the full extent of the data breach until an extensive investigation was conducted. 4. The policy change had a significant impact on the business, leading to a reduction in profits to an unforeseen extent. External adjective. The word, external, in English refers to something relating to, located on, or suitable for the outside or outer part. It can also pertain to foreign or from outside the organization. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The company faced both internal and external challenges in its efforts to expand globally. 2. The external walls of the building were designed with weather-resistant materials to withstand harsh environmental conditions. 3. He sought external assistance from a consultant to provide an objective view on the company's financial status. 4. The team's external communications were carefully managed to ensure a consistent and professional brand image. Extra adjective. The word, extra, in English refers to something that is additional, more than what is usual, or special. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. She packed an extra sweater in case the weather turned cold during the evening. 2. The hotel charged an extra fee for guests who required additional services beyond the standard amenities. 3. He offered to work extra hours to meet the project deadline and ensure its successful completion. 4. The teacher provided extra resources to help the students better understand the complex mathematical concept. Extraordinary adjective. The word, extraordinary, in English means remarkable, exceptional, or beyond the ordinary. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The acrobat's extraordinary performance captivated the entire audience, leaving them in awe of her incredible talent. 2. Her extraordinary dedication and hard work led her to achieve remarkable success in her chosen field. 3. The novel's extraordinary plot twists and rich character development kept readers engaged from beginning to end. 4. The scientist's extraordinary discovery revolutionized the field of medicine, opening up new possibilities for the treatment of various illnesses. Extreme adjective. The word, extreme, in English refers to the outermost or farthest point, often denoting a situation that is intense or severe. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The extreme heatwave caused discomfort and posed a serious health risk to the residents of the city. 2. Her extreme dedication to her craft enabled her to become one of the most celebrated artists of her generation. 3. The mountaineers faced extreme weather conditions during their ascent, battling fierce winds and freezing temperatures. 4. The politicians' extreme views on immigration policy sparked intense debate and polarized public opinion. Extremely adverb. The word, extremely, in English is an adverb that emphasizes the intensity or degree of something. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The children were extremely excited about their upcoming trip to the amusement park. 2. 
The company's profits have been growing extremely rapidly over the past few quarters. 3. Despite the difficulties, she remained extremely focused on achieving her long-term goals. 4. The movie received extremely positive reviews from critics, praising its compelling storyline and exceptional performances. I noun. The word, I, in English can refer to the organ of sight or to something resembling or suggesting an eye. Here are four sentences illustrating its use. 1. The doctor examined my eye and prescribed eye drops for the infection. 2. She had an eye for detail and noticed the tiny imperfections that others overlooked. 3. The hurricane was an eye of the storm, surrounded by powerful winds and torrential rain. 4. He has a keen eye for art, able to distinguish various artistic styles and techniques. And that is all for this English vocabulary in use section until we meet again. Don't forget to support this channel by like, share and subscribe and also to buy the best merch on my store in which I give a link in the description below. This is English Grammar Audio Tutorial signing off.